But first, we're working for you, bringing you new information about the Fairborn man who police say shot and killed his grandson. Good evening, I'm Katie Usen. And I'm Mark Anna. We now know the names of both men and have learned the grandfather has not been charged in the shooting. Alexa Ashwell has been digging for details. She's lied to explain why. It's tonight's top story. Mark, Katie, police are still working to determine what led to this shooting, but believe some type of domestic incident caused the grandfather to shoot 20-year-old Brandon Spencer. Now, I checked, and Spencer had a somewhat troubled past. In fact, he was supposed to be in court today on a civil case. That's in addition to the three criminal cases currently open against him. Rain matches the mood here on Oak Hill Avenue in Fairborn. Neighbors are still in shock after police say a man shot and killed his grandson, 20-year-old Brandon Spencer, outside this home yesterday. My prayers go out to him. It has to be a difficult situation for him. Retta Brooks is heartbroken over what happened. She was in her home just across the street when police arrived. You know, they had their uh, vest on and guns pulled, but Sonny was already out in the front of the yard, hands up. Brooks watched as her longtime neighbor, Sonny, formerly known through property records as James Johnson, cooperated with police. Investigators believe Johnson opened fire on Spencer during a domestic incident. Police released Johnson without charges, but continued to investigate. Did you know he had a grandson? Yes. Uh, did you know anything about their relationship or that? No. Neighbors say Spencer attended Fairborn High School. Officials there confirm he was a 2010 graduate and played football. Court records list this Oak Hill Avenue house as Spencer's home address as well. They also indicate the 20-year-old was just in Fairborn Municipal Court Monday, answering to three open cases against him. I contacted the court for further information. Spencer was facing assault and unlawful restraint charges, violating a temporary protection order, and possession of drugs and drug paraphernalia. None involved his grandfather, Johnson. I just wish the best for Sonny, and he's still one of my neighbors, as far as I count at this time. Now, police hope evidence collected in and around the home, as well as autopsy results, will provide more information. This investigation is ongoing, and we, of course, will continue to work to bring you updates in this case. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News, working for you.